leave of your senses. She left Victoria. She left her own daughter, our six-year-old child, in an empty house on her own in the middle of the night. Come on, Jack, you know that's not strictly true. Richie was supposed to be babysitting. He's the one that went off and left her. He said as much himself. Well, then Sarah's an irresponsible cow for trusting the little idiot in the first place. Take a deep breath, Kids Jack. Kids get taken into care for less. I don't think so. They gave her residency. It beggars belief. And what judge would let you within ten feet of a child when you've been seen throwing a mother around in front of half the village? You'll be lucky to keep your contact visits at this rate. Oh, whose side are you on? I don't have to agree with every wild thing you say just to be on your side. Come on, Jack, you've got to get yourself back down to earth and fast. Right, all you're going to do is lecture me. Then you can get out. I'm not leaving you in this state, no way. Are you deaf? Get out! And what will you do if I don't? Smash me against the wall and threaten to kill me? When I think about what happened last night, I feel physically sick. You're lucky she's still alive. But nothing happened. She's my daughter. She's not a dog you leave lying in its basket while you pop out to the shops. I didn't go to the shop. Oh, don't be so pathetic. Sarah. If the social services hear about this, I could lose residency. They're not going to let Jack near her the way he was behaving last night. Oh. Oh, well. If neither of us are fit to look after her, what's to stop them taking her into care? I bet that never crossed your tiny mind! Look, I know what I did was wrong. It was a stupid thing to do. But Victoria's all right, isn't she? Yes, she is. She's fine. But you're not. Jack threatened to kill you. He threatened to kill both of us. It's a figure of speech. I don't understand this, Sarah. I thought you believed in women's rights and all that stuff. He's practically a wife beater in front of the entire village. He's the one you should be angry with, not me. We should have got the police onto him. In fact, why don't I ring him now? We should have got banjo on to him last night. Oh, you imbecile! Don't you understand anything? Oh, Sarah, please, why are you taking this out on me? Because... Because... Because what? Because Jack's right! No, there are no excuses for what Jack did. Don't lecture me! What? I'm... I'm just a... a stupid, silly cow who's... who's gone off on some sick fantasy with a, a selfish, immature little boy who's, who's not even fit to do a bit of basic babysitting. Stop it, please. And if Jack had have left some, some mindless bimbo looking after Victoria, I would have felt the same way. I would have wanted to kill him. God knows it's true. No, it isn't. What am I doing here? Yes? Ah, oh, hi, Chris. Um, yeah, ah... Uh... I'll be right there. Bye. I've got to get up to home farm. Oh, go on, then. Get lost. I don't talk like that. I'll talk how I like. Jack's right. You can be a bitch. Oh, well, now we see the real Richie Carter. No, I'm sorry. Look, I didn't mean it. Chris will be getting impatient. Sarah, please. Get lost! Come on, drink this. I feel sick. Did you get any sleep last night? Why don't you go and lie down, get some rest? I have to work. Surely there's nothing that can't wait a couple of hours. Oh, yeah. Everything can wait. Oh, you know, I didn't mean it like that. No, no, you're right. It's beaten me. It doesn't matter how much graft I put in, it's just not viable. I spent half the night looking at the books. The best thing that could happen now is for someone to come along and drop a bomb on the place. At least that way I'd get the insurance. Are you insured for bomb attacks? <sighs> that would be funny if it wasn't so near the knuckle. You're tired. You're depressed. Heaven knows you've got cause. <sighs> no, Diane, I tell you. This place is worth more on paper than it is as a working farm. It's sick. Why don't you go and lie down and get some sleep? Things will seem much better if you've had a rest. I can't, Diane. I'm a farmer. I know, I know it sounds melodramatic, but if I stop farming, I'll die. I have to do it because it's who I am. 
Kom her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I shouted at you. It's all right. I understand. Yeah. Yeah, you do, don't you? Men have said far worse to me in my time. You're a pussycat compared with some of the blokes I've met. I'm scared, Diane. I don't mean to lose control, but sometimes... I can feel everything closing in on me. And if the pressure doesn't stop soon... I think I could do something really terrible. It's all right. It's all right. 